Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Mike, KD2KOG, part of the technical support staff here at SDRplay.com. I don't know if this is going to be a quick video or if it's going to be a long video, but this video is going to be for the basics to decoding WeFax signals PDF that I'm going to be releasing at the end of the week. So the PDF is going to explain everything, uh, what to do from top to bottom, but I figured a video is also going to help. So let's uh, let's do a video. Let's get this uh Let's get this rocking and rolling. What you're going to want to do is in order to decode WeFax signals, which are radio facsimile signals over the air, you're going to need a decoder. You're going to need a virtual audio cable. You're going to need a virtual serial port emulator. And you're going to need HF WeatherFax decoder from Black Hat Systems. Uh, there's a link in the PDF if you guys want to save some money on the decoder. I always use this decoder in my WeFax decoding videos. So let's, uh, let's go over the installation. You're going to want to download the HF WeatherFax decoder, and that is through Black Cat Systems. So let's just take a quick look. Black Cat Systems should pop up here. We are going to go to his HF WeatherFax decoder. So give me a moment to find that. It's right here. You're going to download the latest beta, which is beta 19, I believe. So let's take a look. It would be right over here, B19. And if you would like HF WeatherFax decoder to tune the frequency in SDR Uno, you need the Uno UDP transport app, which is here. So it's two zips. I'm going to assume you have your virtual audio cable installed. Uh, I suggest using VB cable. There's a video. I'll link that in the description which is free it gives you a single pair and in, in and out and you're going to need a virtual uh com port emulator such as com zero com or vspe i use vspe which is a paid for use app i create a single pair one and two uh, basically str uno is listening sending on one uno udp is sending listening on two HF WeatherFax decoder sends that information through Uno UDP to SDR Uno. So here's my COM port pair. I'll show you VB cable. Let me see if I can actually pull up that configuration. Let's see, it should be over here. And here's my single pair. It's input and output is that set for 41, uh, 44.1, which is the, the standard here. You can set that right here. And what I do is I go into SDR Uno. Let me launch that. And I have to tell SDR Uno two things. One, use a virtual audio output. And two, use the virtual serial COM port. And I'm going to show you how to do that as soon as this boots up. For the virtual audio output, we're going to go to the RX control. We're going to go to the settings. We're going to go to the output. And we're going to select VB cable. Now, some uh, images might look skewed or blocky. If they do, enable the lock output fractional resampler it's right here under the output if the images aren't blocky or skewed you don't need to enable this but if they are enable it some people seem to need to be able to enable this and other people don't i have to enable it so i'm going to do that now so the output is set great now we're going to go to cat we're going to select com1 remember we have two com ports that we create a com one and com two and as i said sdr uno is going to use com one ah, i lost it let's go back to our set com one enable and connect it's connected now we can close that down so let's close sdr uno that's already set it will remember it the next time we launch it let's go to uno udp and configure that so i have that under a folder called ham should be under HF fax, Uno UDP, and here's Uno UDP. I tell Uno UDP to use COM port 2, and you have to fill in the receive port and the send port. This is all going to be in the PDF, but I'm just showing you really quick. 
Next, we're going to launch Black Hat uh, Systems HF Weather Facts Decoder. Oh, I have to enter my code. I'll do that offline. We'll give this a minute. And we're going to go to Edit. We're going to go to Preferences. And we're going to tell it the Send Port from the UDP and the Receive Port from the UDP. Okay, that part's good. Next, we're going to tell it to use a virtual audio cable, like we did with SDR Uno. So that's good. Next, we can click on the Schedule icon here. And Chris informed me that Beta 19, you no longer have to put the offset. So let's just see one second. 0, 1.9, negative 1.9. We'll leave it out. Let's see if it decodes. So that's looking good. Let's close it. Let's close it. Okay, now we're ready to decode something. All the stuff has already been con uh, configured. We did all that. We're looking good. Launch Uno UDP. I have a shortcut on my desktop. Okay, we'll minimize it. Launch Black Hat Systems HF Weatherfax. We'll leave that running in the background once this snag goes away. We'll minimize that. Let's launch SDR Uno. Now, if everything is working good, uh, HF WeatherFax decoder should tune SDR Uno using the UDP transport over the virtual COM port pair. If everything is working well, SDR Uno will take the demodulated audio over VAC, send it over to the HF WeFax decoder, and the HF WeFax decoder will receive that signal, process it, and display a picture on the screen. So let's uh, let's mute this actually we can click play it shouldn't i don't think you guys are going to hear anything let's enable the medium wave notch filter let's jiggle the gain a little let's pull up our hf weather facts decoder let's go to schedule okay now i want to mute this just in case hf uh the hf weather facts decoder will not set the mode or the filter width for you yet uh, Chris, if you're watching this, maybe that's something you can look into from the Kenwood TS480 commands. You have to set this before doing anything. So unselect whatever mode you're in, go to upper sideband and set it to 2.8 uh, K for the width. Now let's see if we can get a fax. We click on schedule and when I double click this, it should tune the frequency in SDR Uno, which it does. So now we'll just go up and down the line, up and down, uh, this frequency list here and let's see what we can decode uh, what time is it it's 5 30 probably United Kingdom we should be able to get something from there not looking good let's check Germany okay we still have to put that offset so let's put negative 1.9 hit enter and now it will set the offset for us when I retune there it is I believe black is on 1700 and the white dots are on 2300 hertz if i have it mixed up my mistake but it is in the pdf let's just see if we get something and let's click start all right there's a virtual we have that set let's see if we have this set and something's not looking right all right, let me change this around because I have an internal loopback with my sound card, so that might be causing an issue. So let's disable that and let's re-enable the VAC. Huh, that's a first. Let's try a different virtual audio cable. I'll just do it on my Steinberg. I know it works. You guys won't have this issue. Oh, 
would help if I unmuted it also. <laughs> Let's go back to what we were doing. Let's put it back to normal. Let's set our output back to uh, VB cable. Let's relaunch the HF weather facts. And let's, we're going to have to unmute it. That would help if there was some audio to pass through. Note to self, slow down. Okay, let's do that. Let's unmute it. And there it is. And let's see if we get an image. Okay, it looks like a new fax is going to come through. And here it comes. Oh, we have to put the offset. This is going to take a moment. Let's see. This should kick in. And there it goes. Remember, as I said, some uh, systems you might have to enable the lock output fractional resampler. Some systems don't need to enable this. Why it needs to be enabled or why it doesn't need to be enabled, I'm not sure yet. I've been working on this, racking my brain for, honest to God, three weeks. So on my system, if I uncheck this, it's going to give a wave effect. Just give it a moment and you'll see it. Yeah, I can see it right here. So let's uh, re-enable it. Let's just see if there's another station. Transmit. Let's go to the schedule. Let's zoom in a bit, a little bit more. And let's see if Canada's up. Nope. And a quick trick, what I'll teach you guys, or actually what I'll show you guys, is when you're clicking on these frequencies here in the schedule, look at 2300 hertz which is right there you want to see a little peak give it a second because conditions change with hf as you guys know so if it's a weak dx station give it a second just sit on it look in the aux sp zoom in if you need to zoom in a bit slide this over to 23 right there that's 23 hertz 2300 hertz and see what stations you guys can pick up let's see if i can See, there's right there, 23. Nothing there. Let's check California. Nothing there. Nothing there. Let's just double check Canada. I highly doubt I'm going to get Japan at this time. How about Hawaii? That might be Germany. Let's take a quick peek. It is. And that's basically it. So give me about a week. I'll get this PDF out to you guys. I'll put a link in the description when the PDF is done. And if you guys have any questions about this, uh, contact Chris from <laughs> HF. Uh, weather facts decoder no i'm just kidding you guys can leave it in the comments and i'll i'll help you any way i can i'll see you in the next video 73